This is Dr. Andrew Spieler from Hofstra University, and I will be leading you through a very brief <coughs> PowerPoint presentation on the time value of money basics. On the first slide, we will notice uh, that we have three types of cash flows. The terminology will be a lump sum, annuity, or perpetuity. A lump sum is a one-time cash flow. This could be either an inflow or an outflow, so a positive or negative sign as we'll indicate on our calculator in upcoming calculations. An annuity is just a finite number of equal, equidistant cash flows. And a perpetuity is an infinite annuity, if you will. It's an infinite set of equal, equidistant cash flows, cash flows that will go on forever. The next slide will show a table of formulas, and this will show you uh, an exact breakdown of the present value and future value of the three types of cash flows that we've just identified. Notice that we have the present and future value of a lump sum, and those formulas are very closely related to each other. We have the present and future value of an annuity, and you'll notice that in order to value or apply this formula, the present value of an annuity is always valued one period before the first payment is actually received. However, the future value of an annuity is valued at the time of the last payment, at the exact time of the last payment. And the formulas and exact calculations are shown here on the screen. Finally, the perpetuity is a little bit different. We have a present value of a perpetuity, and you'll notice that's the most simple formula. That's the payment over I. But there is no such thing as the future value of a perpetuity. Since a perpetuity goes on forever, it does not exist a lump sum. The lump sum calculation is shown on this slide in connection with the um, <coughs> timeline. You'll notice that the present value is indicated at t equals zero and the future value at t equals n. So the simple formula from the previous page shows you that the future value is equal to the present value times one plus i to the n indicated by the red dashed line. Similarly, we can calculate the present value of a lump sum. So a cash flow received at time n would then be the present value discounted at i percent for n periods, and that will be indicated by the pinkish arrow on the bottom of the slide. The present value of an annuity is a very similar calculation. What we'll notice is instead of one lump sum, we actually have multiple lump sums. So the payment at time one is discounted for one period to time zero. The payment at time two is discounted for two periods to time zero. And the payment at time three is discounted for three periods to time zero. You may notice a pattern here that is the same payment and each payment is decreasing. One plus i, one plus i squared, one plus i cubed. And this leads to a formula that is more compact than doing multiple calculations. So we can define the present value of an annuity as the formula on the bottom of the screen, as we saw before in our six formula slide. And again, we can see that the red dashed lines indicate that in this case, three payments are discounted to time zero. The future value of an annuity is calculated in a similar fashion, but the cash flows are not brought back to time zero. They are now compounded to the time at the end of the last payment. In the same example, time three is the last payment, so the payment at time one is compounded for two periods to time three. The payment at time two is compounded for one period to arrive at time three, and the payment at time three is exactly at time three, no compounding or adjustment necessary. The calculation on the following slide will give you the future value of an annuity and we can see again the similar formula that we had shown you originally. So the red dashed lines again indicate the each payment is brought forward two periods, one period, and zero periods in this example. And finally we compute the present value of a perpetuity. Recall there is no such thing as the future value of a perpetuity. So the present value of a perpetuity will simply be taking the present value of the first cash flow for one period, the second cash flow for two periods, the third cash flow for three periods, and tell me when to stop.
Never. Keep going on forever. So this sounds like the most complicated case because there are an infinite number of cash flows, but it actually turns out to be the most simple formula. So the present value for perpetuity is simply the payment divided by I, the periodic discount rate. We'll now go through some brief examples of the um, <coughs> techniques and formulas we just showed you. First example, suppose we invest $500 per year for the next five years into a savings account which will earn 10% per year. What is the current balance in your account? Question one. And question two, what is the balance in your account after five years? Question one. You'll notice on the timeline that the cash flows are indicated at time one, two, three, four, and five. The cash flows are all equal. They're equidistant and finite, so we have a five-period annuity. To find the present value of this cash flow, we discount the cash flow at time one for one period, time two for two periods, and so on. This is indicated by the compact formula on the bottom of the screen, and we'll see that the present value of five $500 payments at a 10% discount rate when the first payment is received one period from now is $1,895.39. I will now show you the same solution using the calculator. When you get comfortable with the calculator, it will actually be a bit quicker. To use the standard calculator, we have an N of 5, indicating 5 payments. We have an IY of 10. Notice that's 10, not 0.1. The calculator will receive the number and automatically convert it to a percent, so that's 10 percent. The payment, the periodic payment in the annuity is $500. We zero out the future value since there is no future value calculation and compute present value gives us the same $1,895.39. Question number two, compute the future value of the same $500 cash flow stream. Notice again the cash flows begin or are received at time period one, two, three, four, and five. To compute the future value at time five, we take the first cash flow and compound it for four periods, the second cash flow for three periods, and so on. Notice that the last cash flow is at exactly time five and needs no compounding. Again, we use the formula that we have uh, described before, and the future value of a five-period annuity of $500, first payment received one period from now, at a discount rate of 10%, will give you $3,052.55. Notice that the future value is larger than the present value before, which makes sense that the cash flows are increasing in value as interest is being earned. Using the calculator, notice the calculations or the entries into the calculator are almost identical. N equals 5. IY, periodic interest rate, is 10. Again, not 0.1, but 10. Present value is zero since we're doing a future value calculation. The annuity annual payment or periodic payment is 500. And then do compute future value gives us the same $3,052.55. Next question and final question. Suppose you receive $500 per year forever starting one period from now. If the discount rate is 10%, how much would you be willing to pay for this investment? So $500 per year forever, starting one period from now, is a clever way of describing a perpetuity. A perpetuity, again, as indicated on this timeline, shows cash flows that go on forever, and the forever is indicated on the timeline on the right-hand side. You can see the arrow extending. So the $500 payments continue ad infinitum. The present value would be taking the cash flow at time one, discounted for one period, the cash flow at time two, discounted for two periods, and so on. If I were to continue, I would never stop since there's an infinite number of cash flows. The compact formula is simply payment over I, and we have a $5,000 present value. That would be how much you would be willing to pay for this investment. In other words, you are completely indifferent at a 10% discount rate from receiving $5,000 in your hand today or the rights to a cash flow stream of $500 beginning one period from now. That will end our presentation.